Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how I customize my pine book. So we're going to start um, here with my desktop and I'm going to show you where I move things and how I configure and set up my fonts. Um, just thought I would share it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the bottom panel here. I like my panel to be at the top. I'm one of those weirdos. Um, I also like it to be a little bit larger. I find the screen is so uh, nice and crisp, um, but things are kind of small for me. Um, maybe it's because I'm getting older. So let's increase the size here. I'm going to go up to a 30. I think that's what looks best. And that's done. I'm also going to, uh, while we're here, we're going to open up appearance. And I'm going to increase the font size. I do like the theme. They ship with Arc Dark and Arc Darker. So we're going to increase our font size. I'm going to go up one. Usually on a on my 2K monitor, I like a 12 or 13, but we'll just slowly increase these. Each one, one by one. Okay, now for me, that's a lot better. I can see it a lot easier. Uh, it looks really good. So now that we have the panel moved to the top, which is what I prefer, I have my font size increased. What we're going to do is we're going to customize the terminal. I don't like a white background terminal, so I like the white text on a black background. So we can go to edit here and we can go to profile preferences. We're not using the system font. We could, while we're on the topic, I like my font much larger in the terminal. So I'm going to step that up to 14. And then we're going to go over to colors. And we're not going to use the colors for the system theme. We're going to use a built-in theme, and we're going to choose white on black. And then I like the built-in scheme for Tango for my colors. And that's that's nice. That's good. Also like a little bit of transparency. So the font size is the size I want. The white on black looks good. Let's go to our background. Let's go down to transparency. We'll move this over and see how much we see bleed through here. So I can see the Pine logo. I can read the stuff in the corner, but it's not too light that it's hard to see the text. So I think that's good. So I'm gonna run with my transparency. That's probably what, 40%. Um, so that's good. Now, I have my fonts increased. I've moved my top bar. I've set up the terminal the way I like it also like to have a dock. So we're going to install Plank. Plank is a really good dock. I recommend it if you're used to uh, uh, Ubuntu Mate, the Pantheon layout, which is what I use when I use it. Uh, it comes with a Plank dock. So it looks like that installed just fine. So if we hit our super key, we can go here and type plank. Should show up in our menu. And there you go. We have plank running down here at the bottom, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can see here, I got the Mate system monitor running. Now let's open that up. And we'll kind of see what the memory usage here it's around 400 megabytes. Uh, stock installs around 360. So if I close the terminal here, that'll drop down a little bit. So Plank does increase the memory usage just a little bit, but nothing noticeable that I feel like I need to worry about it. So let's get our terminal back open again. So now that we have Plank installed, I like to have themes um, other than stock themes. So let's open up our Chrome 
browser here and we'll go to the GitHub page. So if you just search for uh, GitHub paper material, which is the thing that I like, it'll bring up this GitHub repo. It's this one right here that's Kenny H0727. That's the one that I like the best. Let's get here to the root of the repo. It says we're going to need to install these in local share plank themes. So let's get over here, grab our terminal. And now you can see why I like the transparency the way that I do. And let's uh, CD into that terminal or into that location. See if it exists. It does. If it doesn't on your system, create it. Um, everybody's Pine book uh, should end up being very close to being set up the same way. So we don't have to worry about move over here so you can see what I'm doing. So you don't have to really worry about um, it not being there. So we're going to copy uh, the repo. I'm pretty sure that copied. And then we'll just do git clone, paste in our terminal, and do a dot so it clones everything in the root of that repo to the root of this folder. So when this is done, you should see here we got several different themes. Paper Trigal is one of those. So now we can close all this information here. We can go down here. We can hold Control, right click, go to Preferences, choose our Paper Trigal theme, and then I like my icons. Uh, around size 40 uh, the default could be a little bit lar uh, larger but this is what I find comfortable sometimes I'll drop it down to like 36 um, you know it, it again it's whatever your toleration is for for sizes and one other thing that I like to do which I already have the trash icon here um, is to drag this this docklet here uh, onto the dock uh, for the trash if it's not there and as far as behavior goes I really like IntelliHide I don't think that's the default on Ubuntu Mate Pantheon layout I think the default there is Dodge I like IntelliHide so just know that if it doesn't set it up the default try it out um, or try different different ones there's a couple different there this is the one I like so there you go we have this set up we have um, these icon sizes. I don't have zoom turned on here. If you like icon zoom, you can toggle this on. So now when you hover over them, they'll zoom. I don't like it. It's not my thing. So I don't set that up. So we have Plank installed. Plank's running right now. Um, just rem remember that uh, it won't start by default unless we wire up an auto start. So if we open our terminal up here and we can type which plank and we see it's user bin plank so now if we open up a menu and type auto or startup and open our startup applications and we click add and then here we can say plank and it's user bin plank and then we type a comment Always good practice. This is a simple doc. If I can type <laughs> and we click add, and there you go. It's now on our list. And so next time you log out and log back in, it'll start up automatically. So that's it for the customizations that I like to make uh, to. Uh, any desktops that I'm using, uh, particularly Mate. Um, Ubuntu Mate makes this a lot easier with the Pantheon layout. It's just some small tweaks with theming and some things like that because this is kind of done this way by default. But these are the changes I made to my Pinebook so, or my Pinebook Pro. So, um, hope you enjoyed.